picked up a couple of buildings. I'll explain more about them later. But that one there, it's a church. It's, um, it was missing the steeple. So I'm working on that. I'm going to build the steeple and put a little cross on the top. And i got to fix some of the edges here on the back side. But that's not a bad looking little building. So I'm working on that. And then I've got another one here. I've got, I've got the parts for it. I've been taking it apart. I'm going to make a little nightclub out of this building. I picked this up for like $9 on eBay. And uh, the church I got, I was looking for a Woolworth store. And you look at new ones and they're like $49. And I found a used Woolworth store. I looked like it was in good shape. So I bought that and I got several buildings with it. I got the, the church and three or four houses. And um, I thought, well, that's a cool deal. Got that for like $25. So, and all I really wanted was the Woolworth store. So I'm working on these, but hey, Let's take a ride up to the city. There's a train show. So today I drove up to St. Paul, to the River Center. That's an event center that's in St. Paul. And that's where we're at now. And we're about to go down and see the, the world's greatest hobby on tour. So I hope you'll enjoy that. I, I call this like the heavyweights. This is all your manufacturers that manufacture these trains. And, things like that. There's Atherin down there and Atlas and Cato and then there's that nice DCC controller. All of those guys are down there. And then there's a, a swap meet and, and some trains are set up. So I've never been here to this, so I thought I'd take advantage of it. It's marketed on their website as something that happens every five to ten years. So I didn't want to miss it. Hey, I could croak tomorrow, right? So I'll show you what we find down there when we get in there. Hope you'll enjoy yourself.
check out these refreshments. They got everything here. Pizza.
I can hear my antenna dragging on the roof, on the ceiling of this thing. around this thing. trip. I don't do well in the cities. That was up in St. Paul. Anyway, I bought some bought some more nano lights for my buildings. And I found these. This is um scenic accents. There's some um, bikers kids on bicycles. There's four of them there. And I picked up two packages. They were ten bucks a piece. I figure you can't beat that. So I picked those up and I found this building. This is so cool. Somebody did uh, some nice detailing on the water tower. I love the colors. You know, you buy a kit like this, if you can find them, it's 24 and 25 bucks on the internet. This one here was $15, all built and ready to go. So I'll find a home for that on my, on my layout, too. So what do you think of that, um, that uh, show? The world's greatest show. Gre world's greatest hobby, that's what it was. Yeah, on tour. Um, I, I, you know, I wanted to go so I could t talk to some of the manufacturers. You know, I talked a little bit to the NCE guy there about my NCE because I have that issue with, you know, the light going out. And he directed me to Cato on that. So I guess I'll have to call them up. Anyway, I thought it was nice. I had a great time. Uh... When I first got there, it was $10 for parking, and then it was $15 at the door to get in. So before you even get to buy anything or look at anything, you've got $25 out of your pocket. I had a piece of pizza and a Coke, and that was another 8 bucks. So adds up. But uh, I had a nice time. I've never been to anything like that where you've had the manufacturers and that's what I was looking for. I mean, you can go to a lot of train shows and they have the swap meets. But this is a place where you get to talk to the people that you know make these engines. They make the train sets. And so I, I really enjoyed myself with that part of it. And um, hey, I hope you enjoyed it too. So I'll catch you on my next one. You have a great day.